This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. And welcome to the program. I'm Roby Brock. We are glad to have you with us. Thanks so much for tuning in. They are scheduled to meet for a minimum of 60 days every two years, but a lot of people would like them to meet for an, uh, only two days every 60 years, but that is not how it works. <laughs> hey, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> as we long as the numbers are the way we they should are. should talk. <laughs> the Arkansas legislature has completed the 92nd regular General Assembly mm -hmm. uh, session there, and I am joined by Representative Charles Blake, Democrat of Little Rock, Representative Andy Davis, Republican of Little Rock. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for being back. Thanks for having us, Robert. Thanks for having us. We are going to talk about the best and the worst of this uh, legislative session, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give you my pick for the worst okay. of the legislative session because I need some explanation here. How did you blow the halftime lead at the Hoops for Kids Sake game? <sighs> and lose to the Senate for the third year in a row. This is Well, one of our best players devastating. Got, a, got a calf strain <laughs> and, and couldn't finish. Davis the, the got a calf strain? <laughs> yeah. Couldn't finish the last 10 minutes of the half. Davis had a great night at the concession stand. <laughs> <laughs> man, I was having I was having a pretty good game too, man. I was five for six from the three point line. Yeah. And uh and then, the Blake Eddins did something. And then I don't you know what I Zion Williamson, Williamson right there. Blew, just blew it out, <laughs> didn't blew, so. blew out a calf muscle. New contracts for the uh sneakers for the uh, hoops for kids sake games coming up there. Uh anyhow, I I've, I've already got Speaker Shepard uh flogged himself pretty bad for that loss right there. So <laughs> let's talk about the best and the worst of this legislative session. Representative Davis, I will give you the first uh, whack at this. What was the best thing that came out of this legislative session? There were a lot of good things. It's kind of hard to pick the best. Um, of course, the governor's uh, four big T's, teacher pay, trans transportation, transformation, and tax reform. Those were all great. But my personal favorite out of this session was NCI designation funding for UAMS. We've been saying for years we needed additional funding and support for UAMS. I appreciated Dr. Patterson bringing us a very specific ask, not just something for general budget, but here is something that will change lives of Arkansans if we can get this done. We're able to get that done. For me, that was a great accomplishment. Yeah, Representative Blake. Uh, I, that's, that's a good one, Andy. I, uh, being, both of us being from, from this great city, you know that how, how helpful that's going to be UAMS. But um, I, I think... Um, when we have bills that no one expects us to pass, and it shows the, the compassion of our state and, and how, as, as a legis legislator, we, we can work together, like the DACA nurses bill, uh, where, where we're getting, giving the opportunity for, for those students who are not citizens to, to get a nursing license, and, as well as Dan Douglas's bill, uh, the, the DACA in-state tuition bill. I mean, I, I think those, those bills show the compassion of our state. It shows, um, it shows what, what we can be when, when, we, when we know what a, a specific problem is. Hey, we, we got a shortage of nurses. We got students who are, who are actually wanting to be nurses, mm -hmm. who are residents of this state. Uh, let's, let's give them the opportunity to be uh, licensed nurses. So I, right. I, I think that's those a are both good picks. Strong, I will, strong uh, I'll agree with you on both of those there. All right, uh, there are some low lights in every legislative <laughs> session. Uh, I've already mentioned my low light for the session for the House. <laughs> But on a serious note, what do you what do you think were some of the the worst parts of the session? I, you know, I don't know about worst part. A low light for me, policy wise, was that we failed to advance uh, telemedicine again. Um, you know, it, we're talking about a bill of very few words that are changing. But uh, anyone who's a small business owner like myself, and when you go and shop health insurance plans and benefits for your employees, there's always an asterisk by Arkansas because there are services that you cannot offer here. Um, we're near last in access, we're near last in outcomes, but I just haven't seen us been able to advance very much legislation that will improve those things, and that's frustrating to me. Yeah, Representative Blake. I think alternatives to what I just said, uh, I think that the lowest light of our session was probably our, the last day of session, and that was the Sanctuary Cities Bill. Um, I think it showed the lack of compassion. I think it showed what happens when you let the uh, the angriest and, and loudest uh, dictate how the process goes. Um, not not only the bill, but but how how that bill that bill died and then it died again. And uh, um, uh, governor even signed it, saying that there were some reservations. That I mean, had it's with it's the a it's well, a bill so. that's unconstitutional. It's a bill that that doesn't that lacks compassion. It's a bill that uh, is going to cost our cities money. 
And I, I think that is something that we, we all put, put in the forefront going in, into the, the, I mean, it was a bill that was rushed, rushed through, uh, filed on, ran the last, what, three days of session, um, died on Monday, came back on Tuesday, um, when we weren't supposed to have a, a, a meetings anymore. So I, I think it, it showed, that bill showed the, um, the, the faults of, you know, yeah. of, of process that we had and then going to the floor and actually saying, you know, we, we know this is going to cost our city's money. There should be a fiscal impact report here. And that just being, that saying that they're, well, it doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're moving forward. It sounds like that bill is going to come up though in the next legislative session in two years, not 60 years. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> um, all right. What, in the interim, what are you guys going to be watching? What, where's your focus going to be on anything, a pet project or something that came out of this session that you feel like needs to uh, be, is warrants some additional observation? I'll keep going first with you. That's, well, uh, if, if you'll allow, I've got two, honestly. One is uh, I'm going to be chairing the ALC subcommittee on contract review, and we have new procurement law that we just passed in this session. So uh, I'm trying to get up to speed on what changes did we make, and I'm going to be curious to see how these new procurement processes play out in the review subcommittee. Uh, probably more personally, though, is transformation and how that's implemented. Mm -hmm. um, I've, went last week and visited with the transformation team and the uh, they've got an office set up all borrowed equipment no didn't buy anything new borrowed and scavenged <laughs> from scavenged from different agencies he's cost saving right? put together <laughs> it's a salvage place where you can get things yeah. and stick so, going up there so uh, but I'll be anxious to see how this. transformation rolls out over the interim yeah that would be a big one that we'll be watching too there's, there, there's a, a a couple of things I'll, I'll be looking at. I give um, you two since I gave him. Two. There's a couple of things. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to let Andy outdo me. Uh, but one is a a study that was that has been put into interim study by Representative Money Hodges, and that's looking at our criminal offenses and and how we classify felonies, uh, misdemeanors, and 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 infractions. I, I ran a, I ran a bill at the very end of session as well, which would decriminalize marijuana which would move uh, less than an ounce from a Class A misdemeanor to a, mm -hmm. to a, a civil infraction. So I, I, I think when, when we are addressing our, our criminal justice system, uh, we can, we can uh, be, be more, uh, we can be fairer in sentencing, but also allow our, our local uh, law enforcement agencies to, to kind of focus on, on the, the harder, heavier crimes. And the second thing? Um, coincidence that, 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 that we're all here together um, I would I would love to, to, to see the the conversation of our state flag continue. Uh, I, I've I've heard I've heard Mr. Davis's comments. I've read his comments, and we we gave you we've my had some early. talks. We had some talks, <laughs> but I, I I think those that's a, another issue that going into uh, 2021, is that right? 2021. <laughs> <laughs> going into yeah, 2021. <laughs> no, going into 2021 that that uh, we have a general consensus and that that the conversation has started and that people know that uh, we need to we need to have a better light on our. State. If you guys will find common ground, I think Andy and I, I always I, find find. I think common we ground. will. I think we will. Those issues like that. Um, while I think it's easy for a lot of people to say, "Yeah, I agree. We need to make a change." It's, it's more of a crockpot issue. You know, it's not something we're just going to throw out there and knock it out. Yeah. Uh, people need time to marinate on different ideas and what are the options and why are we doing this, so on and so forth. So, so, so is it more like a, a pot roast crockpot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, will, I'm willing to put it on high. You see my ideas. Okay. You see my ideas. <laughs> These guys have made us hungry now, so we got to get going. So, Representative Davis, Representative Blank, thank you uh, both very much, and congratulations on a great session for both of y'all. Appreciate y'all's you. leadership. Thank you. So. Thank you. All right, it was a big week for jobs. I sat down with AEDC Executive Director Mike Preston to talk about what's been happening this past week. And Arkansas's population, it is still growing, but it is slowing down from the red hotness we've once seen. Economist Mervyn Jebraj joins me right after this.